Welcome Pisces. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with and how we can help with that using divine directions, angels and ancestors oracle cards, and also the light seers tarot. Okay, let's get into it here Pisces. Okay. Three cards for Pisces, please. Two cards for Pisces, please. One card for Pisces, please. <laughs> Ooh, almost, it did like a backflip turnaround kind of thing, Imogi. I'm sure there's a name for it in the gymnastic world. Here it is. Okay, so first card we have here is music. Express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits. That's so true, right? You know, you know how you have your favorite song and it's, it comes on the radio or whatever, and you're like, yes, and you're really getting into it, and it makes you feel a lot better. 100 percent Get up and dance around the room if you need to, you know. Um, yeah. Okay, so signs. Your past loved ones are never far from you. Notice the signs they send you. Oh, interesting. And the thing is that sometimes it's not even signs. It's just that we can feel them around, right? So, yeah, start taking note of those things because um, I feel like some of you really need to know that they're there right now. Uh, teach. You have a wonderful gift for, for working with others. Have you considered teaching? Interesting. Okay, Pisces, let's get into it. Okay. So music, give me two cards for music for Pisces, please. It's so funny because sometimes these cards, I'm like, what else is there to say about that? But we'll see what comes up. Okay. Two, one, two. Just like that, Hunter, track down your fears and your desires. Interesting. Okay, so... This is an interesting message here, Pisces. For some of you, it may have been that you wanted to pursue um, music as a profession, potentially. Um, whether that be playing an instrument or um, writing music or composing music, whatever to do with music. And you may have been I want to say redirected. Um, some of you may have actually been stifled from using your creativity, okay, or you may have stifled yourself. And this could be holding you back now. This is very interesting. I did not expect this message to come through. Um, I'm noticing in this card here, what is really jumping out to me is this dark cave behind him. And it's like he's about to embark into the cave. And he's got all his armor on. These, um, the horns here, which I think are Taurus horns. He's got that stag horns. Like he's really stepping into his power here and going, you know, which is what you would need to hunt down your fears, right? And in, I just love how it's got to hunt down your fears. So that's the first thing you need to do is to hunt down your fears in order to bring your desires through because there's some desires that have been put in the shadows. Some things in this could very well to be to do with music and it's also reminded me of what um, Wayne Dyer said. Um, do not die with your music still in you. 
something along those lines. Pretty sure that's close enough. You know, so yeah, this is about you letting your music out, um, which are ultimately your desires. Okay, the next card here, we have Shield Maiden. Wow. So this is a real battle, right? Make plans and focus. Look at her with her shield and her sword ready to go in. There's sort of a darkness behind her too. This is such an interesting message that has come under music. I wouldn't have expected this. So, you know, music also may, there may be some fears that you're facing right now and music may help you to shift that energy to give you a bit of an upliftment, I suppose. But, yeah... Hunter and Shield Maiden. I just wonder if there's a, a battle that you're having with yourself about something. Because you've got the Shield Maiden here with her shield and her sword. And you've got the Hunter. Mm -hmm. Intriguing. Okay, so give me... Okay. Do I want these for Hunter? No, sorry. Okay. I won't shuffle until I've said what we need. Give me two cards for Hunter, please, for Pisces. Some of you may even be afra afraid of your desires. It could be that there's something that you wanted to do, and it could be, like I say, to do with music. that want to come out nope um i've got one card here but it's upside down don't know what it is yet but yeah it's sort of like you wanted to do something or pursue something musically and you were made to feel like it wasn't feasible for you to do that it wasn't a productive enough thing or it wasn't something that you should do um or that could actually get you anywhere if you like some of you had a real talent and you were told that you were crap at it because people didn't want to see you succeed. It's not right. Hunter, one more card for Hunter. There it is. Interesting. Okay, so first card here is the Emperor. Oh, I love this. Yes, see, this is you stepping into your energy, right? You stepping into your um, power of this real emperor energy because he's sitting there like he has this empire. He knows how to run it. He knows what he's up to. He And this is such an a hunter energy too. But the empire isn't going out to hunt anything. He already has that down packed. He knows his fears. He's got them sorted, you know, and as they arise, any new fears arise, arises, he, he deals with those. He knows his desires. He has his desires under control so that um, they're not ruling his life. Okay, but he has them at, and there's this equilibrium between the two with the emperor. And I wonder if this is what the hunter and the shield maiden are representing to get this energy equal. Because I feel like the hunter is hunting the shield maiden. See, if you put them that way, they're towards one another. And so I feel like this is such an internal battle. And I wonder if for some of you, if you write music or um, um, you write songs or compose music, I wonder if this is an energy that you can bring through, this internal energy that you can use to create what it is that you want to create musically. Um, we have the world here. And this, I feel like, is there's a cycle in your life that has been completed. And maybe some of you are disappointed that that's been completed. Maybe you didn't want it to end. 
But I do want to say with this here, Pisces, is it means that a new cycle can begin. Okay. So this is making plans and focusing on those, what it is that you can now create in your life. Okay. And maybe this is what the music is about. It's like, imagine your life as a song. And what is the next piece going to be? What are you going to write? What is that going to look like? What is it going to sound like? What is it going to feel like? Right? So yeah, Shield Maiden. Oops, just drop half a deck here. <laughs> okay, so get these the right way around. Okay, so Shield Maiden. Two cards. One card for Shield Maiden. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and that one's upside down. Okay, so seven, yeah, see, um, you know, looking at, the, this is the thing, you've um, you've been growing something or there was something that was growing and you thought it would um, bring um, these riches into your life and maybe that hasn't happened. And so, and this could even be to do with music. But the thing is, because these pentacles are here underneath the soil, I feel like there's, you, you know, there's been a lot of energy put into it, but it's sort of like, I suppose it's at that crunch point of going, do I want to continue with that or not? But it is there to be um, for the taking, but whether you want to continue putting the energy into that or not is up to you. And honestly, this applies to anything in your life, right? Um, it could be a job. It could be, um, you know, something that you are passionate about, like music, uh, a career, you know, this could be spiritually, this could be a relationship, this could be within your home, okay, so, yeah, interesting, okay, so, the hanged man, See, the hangman is about seeing things from another perspective, but I actually feel like there's something inside of you. It's almost like you need to be tipped upside down and shaken out. You know how you do with a um with a um a piggy bank where you tip it upside down and get the money out and you get a knife in there and you get the coins out one by one. That's what I feel like needs to happen with you, and I feel like the coins are representing your talent or, you know, these desires or your passion. Um, and I feel as though that's going to tell some sort of story. Hmm. An interesting message. Very interesting messages coming through here, Pisces. I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay, I like it when the messages come through and they're not super obvious and it's like it even takes me by surprise, you know. Anyway, signs. Your past loved ones are never far from you. Notice the signs they send you yes yeah, see and you know what these messages here are a sign from your past loved ones okay because there is things that you are stifling within you that aren't being expressed and these are your passions these are your talents these are your gifts and um, they want you to step into this energy here and own it Two cards for signs, please, for Pisces. I don't know what the second card is. It's upside down, but this first card. Be fearless and stand strong. Warrior. Wow, that's power-packed, man. That is power-packed. Like, that makes me a little bit emotional. Because here in New Zealand, this warrior is from the indigenous culture here, from the Maori culture. And, wow. <laughs> Whew, man, that's powerful. Be fearless and stand strong here, yeah, like the energy of the emperor, right? And know, know that your ancestors are with you. Okay, they are there cheering you on. And, you know, there, it could be that for some of you, you have been getting um, inklings or, you know, it's like this thing 
um, that keeps popping up for you, like go do this, go do this, remember this, and, and it keeps popping up for you, and um, you're kind of like going, no, 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 I can't do that, like, you know, for whatever reason, but I feel like this is something you need to pursue here, P Pisces. Okay, so two cards for warrior, please. This is beautiful. The warrior, you know, ready to go out to claim what is his, right? To um, to stand up for what is, is his, for what is rightfully his, and what is rightfully yours, Pisces. Your authentic self. What, what this music that is within you... Um, that is there to be expressed for everyone to enjoy. Okay. Um, and there's a um there's this energy of you learning to channel um what it is that needs to come out into the world. And this energy is so freaking powerful right now. This is about you being the chief of your own life. Not of you necessarily taking care of anyone else. Um, this is about you taking care of you in the sense of bringing out what it is that um, you, this, this fire, there's this fire within you that um, you've kind of put to one side, put to one side, put to one side for whatever reason. And, um, and it's been popping up every now and then. You're like, oh, gee, I really loved that. That made me feel complete when I was doing this could be something to do with music but you know music could just be an example it could be that some of you are very creative with your art um, and you're pouring your energy potentially into things that you feel are creative but it's not this particular thing yeah and I feel like some of you are still needing to get to that okay Hmm. And there could be also something that you've always wanted to learn. Okay. Um, this this too is about you learning to love you and really owning that warrior energy that is within you. Because I feel like this warrior energy <sighs> It's like it's being pushed to the background and it needs to come forth. Yeah. And this could be from, you know, through your lineage, you know. So yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, see, you're holding back on what is within you. You're holding back. This is, what you have within you is um, precious and it's actually very valuable. It's like a treasure. And you, you're keeping it to yourself. And what's happening is because you're keeping it to yourself, it's not able to develop and grow. And it's sort of halting your development and your growth to a degree. So, yeah. Wow. Traveler. <laughs> Move in a new direction. This is personally, I feel. For some of you, it could be um, going in a different direction as in, you know, some of you may travel a lot. And this could be about going somewhere new, experiencing new things, experiencing potentially new cultures. Hmm. Um, okay, so let's have a look here, Traveller. But I feel as though when you do move in a new di direction, whatever that means for you, Pisces, um, as you explore the world, you explore yourself. 
You find out what you like, what you don't like, what resonates with you, what doesn't. And, um, yeah, as you try new things out, as you allow these passions to be ignited again and these desires to come to fruition, you learn about yourself, you know, and it helps you move in a new direction in your life. Okay, so one more card for Traveller. I don't know what that one is yet. Okay, one more card for Traveller, for Pisces, please. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you deciding whoops, which direction to go in. Okay, this could be actually about you um, working out what it is that you want to build in your life. Okay, what... Um, what legacy you want to leave, okay, because the thing is, if you allow yourself to live your life without really allowing these, um, this gift um, to come through, or this, if you don't let your music out, what are you leaving, is this, are you making a true imprint upon the earth, as you travel along your journey, what does that look like? What does this traveling of the journey of your life look like? And what is it that you want to leave behind? Okay. For future generations to learn from or embrace. Um, yeah. How does that work? Okay. This is kind of you pulling things out the bag in a sense and going, how do I do this and what does it look like? And, and maybe even having to relearn how to do things because it may have been so long, you know. But once you get into the swing of it, because it's innately part of you, it's not going to take long at all, okay. We also have the Queen of Swords here, yeah. And this is you really standing in your power, owning your truth, right. Um and knowing that what is in your heart needs to be expressed. Your truth needs to be expressed, right? And um, yes, teach. You have a wonderful gift for working with others. Have you considered teaching? So this here, you know, some of you may become a music teacher, you know, but whatever it is, this music that is within you, which can represent anything, um, this is something that you can bring out to leave that legacy, right? And not only that, but those around you, you also teach them how to do the same thing, to stand in that confidence, to go, I don't care what I look like, like, I'm going to do it anyway, you know? So, yeah. Teach. I'll put that up in a tick. I don't know what way I can, can't even see it. I need to see if there's not two cards there, though. It won't be a mo. There is not two cards, but I do want to say that it took me a bit to find it. So this may be that you need to do a little bit of digging here, right? To go into the um, shadows, huh? to go into the cave, to find these desires, right? To shoot down those fears, get rid of those, and um, let these desires come through. Come out into the light, shed light on them, right? And, and don't buy into any excuses that your mind decides to throw in there. Because these are what holds you back, okay? Okay, so. We have star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. Yes, see, this is this music within you. Oh, I love this. I love this, Pisces. I love it. Okay, and we have Shaolin Master. I think that's how you say it. And be graceful in movement and in action. Yeah, because see, this master here needs to balance this ball and the grasshopper with his movements, right? He can't, you know, he's got to do that so slowly that they can still actually balance on him. So this is really about this balance, purposefully maneuvering your way through. Um, and bringing this in because it's going to be such a beautiful um, dance of life that 
you want it to you want to bring through the energy that it deserves in order for the impact to be made that it's going to make because it's going to make an impact in a really 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 positive way it's like the stars at night they move in such a way you may not even notice them move right but then i don't know why the cards acting like a star but there's stars in there right and they come into alignment at a certain point of time and then bam things happen magic happens right so yeah okay so star and sister two cards will follow the voice of your soul for pisces please i love it i love it oh don't go oh yeah sweet <laughs> i'm like please don't fall on my floor again okay one card two cards one more card for pisces please there it is oh we've got a third card okay so we've got ten of cups oh wow yes 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 this is dream fulfillment all your dreams come true when you let that music out everything falls into place everything is in alignment you are the happiest you're living your happiest life then you know nothing is held inside of you everything's out and this is just embracing this absolute bliss um, that is there to be had, right? Temperance, yeah, combining the good with the bad, the dark with the light, right? Bringing the dark into the light, like I say, exactly the same as this. Bringing this into the light, okay, and getting this balance, yeah? Um, and, and I want to say with this also... Um, to really, everything in moderation here, right, so that when you discover what it is, it can be really easy to want to rush in there and be like, yeah, let's go, let's go, because it's so, like, exciting for you, because this, this is something you're so passionate about, but um, just be mindful of that, take your time with it, again, this slow movement here, graceful, yeah, um, so that you don't crash and burned okay with it and the page of pentacles yeah see this is exactly what this is talking about i feel this energy of of learning to balance things okay and learning um did we have an ace here no we didn't um really learning to um how to actually um use what it is that you have potentially to even support you in life right so this is something that you could consider okay so Shalin master two cards for pisces please be graceful in movement and action yeah for sure pisces one more card for pisces one more card for pisces please Okay. Wow. Got the three of swords here. Um, and interesting that this has come up here, actually. Uh, I feel like this is actually comes under fears. And with this coming up with the Shaolin Master is that I feel as though for some of you, when this just does come forth, it may be so, um, like, there could be a fear that arises within you that you may lose it. And um, I want to say that um, you can't. You can't lose what it is that is authentically natural for you. Okay, so please um, be aware of that, okay? Also, I want to say that fears from the past may need to be dealt with here in order for this um, to come through, all right? Because, um, I yeah, and again, this Eight of Wands here is about taking everything slowly. Very interesting that these two have come up together here because um, this is why I'm feeling like you may want to grow, hold on to it and not let it go. Um, also, this could relieve you of any um, 
pain that you've had before and it may feel so um it may feel so uplifting that um that it might kind of like knock you off your feet a little bit i feel um because it's taking you out of a state of um you know a state of pain i want to say for some of you um so yeah also one other thing for some of you pisces if there's things that you haven't healed from uh that is stopping the this um these desires that you have for yourself to come through then you need to do that okay so yeah interesting to end with those ones yeah but definitely be graceful in movement and action so this is really handling yourself okay really filtering um thinking about things before you say them and um not acting from a place of hurt acting from like rising above and and being masterful with your delivery of anything okay so yeah Pisces I will leave that with you thank you for the journey that was enjoyable I liked it so yeah okay take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye